The top method to unclog your arteries. When arteries become obstructed and hardened by sticky plaque, this condition is known as atherosclerosis. It is the primary cause of heart attacks and strokes, which can be fatal. Today we will explore the origins of plaque and how you can naturally reverse clogged and stiff arteries. As always, this video is for educational purposes and does not serve as medical advice. We are not doctors. So, the reason plaque accumulates in the arteries is due to damage to the inner lining. This leads to inflammation. If a particular part of an artery is severely damaged, it can tear and cause bleeding, which is dangerous and can quickly be fatal. The body forms plaque as a kind of band-aid to prevent bleeding at the site of injury where the artery walls are weak. Inflammatory chemicals at the injury site attract oxidized cholesterol and calcium to form plaque deposits. This sticky and flexible plaque is intended to be a temporary coating while your body repairs the artery wall. Repeated injury to an artery increases inflammation, leading to more inflammatory chemicals and thus a thicker plaque deposit. This almost always happens in arteries with high blood flow, as plaque is seldom seen in veins due to low blood flow. As the artery narrows, some of the plaque solidifies and becomes calcified, becoming stable but not moving. However, the newer layers are soft. This is called soft plaque, and it is likely the most dangerous. With the high force of fast-flowing blood, it can break off or tear, causing new inflammation. The body then sends in platelets and fibrinogen and other factors, resulting in a clot. The clot blocks blood from delivering oxygen and nutrients to cells and tissues. A person could have a heart attack if the block is in the heart, or a stroke if the block is in the brain, leading to serious problems. As plaque deposits form in other arteries, we experience stiffness throughout the body. As people age, the inner lining of their arteries gets increasingly damaged and scarred, leading to stiffening. This is known as hardening of the arteries. If you struggle with climbing stairs and your legs or feet feel cold, numb or painful, you might want to consider getting a calcium score test to check for artery calcification. In some individuals, calcium deposits can almost turn into bone. On an X-ray, a calcified artery looks like a bone and cannot contract anymore. At this point, it's evident that heart disease results from accumulated damage to artery walls that isn't repaired promptly. Now, let's explore a vitamin therapy that aids your body's ability to repair damaged arteries, heal inflammation, and dissolve plaque deposits. This therapy includes seven essential vitamins. We'll start with number seven. Vitamin C, L-lysine, L-proline. Vitamin C. How does your body repair a damaged artery wall? Your body tackles this potentially life-threatening issue by laying down new collagen fibers. Collagen is one of the most abundant proteins in the body, providing strength to connective tissues such as skin, ligaments and artery walls. Vitamin C is the crucial nutrient your body needs to repair or replace collagen fibers to maintain the integrity of artery walls. Additionally, your body uses vitamin C as an antioxidant to support immune function, aid in stress response, and bind to toxic heavy metals for removal. The recommended intake of vitamin C or pure ascorbic acid is 6 2 to 12 G day. To avoid an upset stomach, it's best to divide this into smaller doses throughout the day. Also, because vitamin C doesn't stay in your system long, you'll benefit more by dosing it throughout the day. For better absorption, opt for liposomal vitamin C. The best type of vitamin C supplement comes from whole fruits, such as Camu Camu powder. Food-derived vitamin C is chemically the same as ascorbic acid, but also contains other plant nutrients that may enhance the bioavailability of vitamin C. You can obtain vitamin C from fruits and vegetables like bell peppers, citrus fruits and cruciferous vegetables. However, for many people, this isn't sufficient. It's also crucial to take two other amino acids for proper collagen synthesis, L-lysine and L-proline. These amino acids help break down plaque deposits into very small pieces. This prevents larger pieces of plaque from causing an embolism, meaning the artery is blocked by a blood clot. The recommended dosage for L-lysine is 3 to 6 G day. The dosage for L-proline is 1 2 G day. One of the most notable advocates of this vitamin C therapy was Linus Pauling, a recipient of two unshared Nobel Prizes. Coming up next is number six. Vitamin E. Did you know there are eight types of antioxidant vitamin E? 
There are four tocopherols and four tocotrienols, and all eight should be listed on the supplement bottle. The recommended dosage is 400 hunt 800 millilitres day. Vitamin E can make your blood less likely to clot, so consult your doctor if you're on blood thinning medication. Research has shown that this antioxidant can significantly reduce oxidized LDL, the dangerous type of cholesterol that increases inflammation in plaque deposits. Foods rich in vitamin E include sunflower seeds, almonds, spinach, avocados, squash, kiwi fruit, trout, shrimp, olive oil, wheat germ oil, and broccoli. Are you enjoying the information? Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and click on notifications so you never miss a video. Moving on to number 5, we have vitamin K2. Did you know that vitamin K2 can prevent calcium buildup in the arteries? A deficiency in vitamin K2 might be the most important cause of calcified arteries. First, there are two main types of vitamin K, K1, which comes from green leafy vegetables like spinach and is essential for blood clotting, and vitamin K2, mostly found in animal foods and fermented products. Most people do not get enough vitamin K2. Foods rich in K2 include natto, sauerkraut, pastured egg yolks, grass-fed beef liver and butter, eel, and certain cheeses, e.g. raclette, gouda, Jarlsberg, and edam. Vitamin K2 directs calcium away from the arteries and kidneys to the bones and teeth, where it is needed, by activating the hormone osteocalcin. However, we also need vitamin D, otherwise our bones cannot absorb the calcium they need to remain healthy. The best source of vitamin D is sunlight. When supplementing, choose the MK7 form of K2, as it stays in your bloodstream longer. The recommended dosage is 100 to 200 mexag day. MK7 is often paired with vitamin D3 in one supplement, making it a convenient choice. Next on the list is number 4, B vitamins. B vitamins are crucial for heart disease patients in two significant ways. First, people with high blood pressure require their hearts to work harder to pump blood, which demands more energy and a better supply of B vitamins. Second, high homocysteine levels caused by a deficiency in B vitamins and certain disease states can irritate artery walls and increase the risk of blood clots. This serious issue can be easily resolved by ensuring sufficient intake of B6, B12 and folate. Fortunately, it's easy to consume foods rich in B vitamins. These include broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and leafy green vegetables like cabbage, kale, spinach, peas, beans, poultry, fish, eggs, and liver. When taking a vitamin B supplement, always choose natural methylcobalamin over synthetic cyanocobalamin. For better absorption, try liposomal methylcobalamin. Follow the dosage instructions on the bottle. Entering the top three, we have number three. CoQ10. Coenzyme Q10 is essential for the production of collagen fibers. It's required in large amounts where there's high energy usage. And since the heart is the muscle that never stops working, it needs a lot of CoQ10 to function properly. Although our bodies naturally produce CoQ10, its production decreases with age. Therefore, individuals over 40 years old would benefit from supplementation. Heart patients particularly those with high blood pressure, which forces the heart muscle to use more energy, can benefit from taking CoQ10 supplements. If the CoQ10 levels of these patients drop too low, they might experience congestive heart failure. Since taking statins to reduce cholesterol also reduces CoQ10 production, supplementing with CoQ10 is essential. The recommended dosage is at least 100 mg grax day. Copper. Next, we have number two. Copper is needed for the creation of collagen fibers. A copper deficiency can lead to microcytic anemia, where red blood cells are too small, and ischemic heart disease, where weak blood flow to the heart is caused by narrow arteries. It's best to take zinc with copper if you're deficient in either or both minerals. Zinc is often deficient in a vegetarian diet, and it's also important for healing damaged tissues, including artery walls. The recommended copper dosage is around 2 min glamtanamas day, and zinc should be about 30 misbanos day. And at number one we have magnesium. Many people don't consider magnesium as an electrolyte, like potassium. As an electrolyte, magnesium helps maintain the electrical current flowing through your heart and blood vessels. If your diet is low in magnesium, your heart and arteries may become prone to contractions or muscle spasms, increasing the risk of high blood pressure and heart attack. 
This is because magnesium is a powerful vasodilator. It helps your blood vessels to relax, preventing calcium buildup in plaque. Studies have shown that magnesium lowers high blood pressure, reduces chest pain, and prevents abnormal blood clotting. Taking 200 to 400 milliblasms day of this mineral can help treat many heart conditions. The recommended type is magnesium malate for easy absorption, or even better, take a supplement that contains all seven forms of magnesium. There you have it. A vitamin therapy to help your body reduce plaque deposits. Combine this with an anti-inflammatory diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Anti-inflammatory omega-3 to clear out your blocked arteries. Some of the best food sources of inflammation-lowering omega-3s are sardines, wild salmon, mackerel, walnuts, macadamia nuts, chia seeds, flax seeds, seaweed, spirulina, and chlorella. Next, let's touch on what causes your artery walls to become damaged. What causes artery damage? The inner lining of the arteries can become damaged due to factors such as homocysteine, insulin, glucose, lead, arsenic, mercury, bacterial toxins, and gut bacteria that can enter the arterial wall and trigger inflammation leading to plaque deposits.